Hi, this is Dr. Chaitley. Welcome to the section of cardiology, the study of the heart. Um, in this particular section, I'll be talking to you about uh, sudden cardiac death. Now, that commonly occurs in young individuals, unfortunately. And the incidence is as high as almost half a million deaths that occur in the United States in young individuals is because of a syndrome called sudden cardiac death. The most identifying features out of this unfortunate uh, syndrome is that they are young athletes. They are exerting at the public uh, sports or public high school or college uh, uh, athletic meetings. And uh, very rarely, you know, one comes across through the media or through the, um, through the school reports that uh, a young individual has collapsed and invariably it's either of the two major major reasons besides many others that we'll talk about at a later time but let's identify some risk factors we know certain basketball players especially from the african-american descent can have a gene which may make someone prone for this syndrome there is also a gene that's prevalent that has been seen in middle-aged Asians, normally in the third or their fourth decade of their lives. And it has been reported that those individuals, they die in sleep. So one, we have an overexertional athlete, an African-American descent. And then we have an Asian who is a middle-aged person who, is, who can pass away in sleep unfortunately. So both the instances are extremely, extremely catastrophic. So we need to identify these, obviously, through our mechanisms. Currently, only an EKG, uh, per guidelines by American College of Cardiology, because we have a body called American College of Cardiology, which really oversees the entire curriculum. And as a result, it also identifies and recommends certain testings to be done in terms of how to identify various risk factors in some individuals. So only an EKG abnormality, if is suggested via an electrocardiogram, then a subsequent testings are recommended. So an EKG can identify some syndromes of these sudden cardiac deaths. One of them is just called uh, Brugada syndrome. The other one is called the QT prolongation syndrome. Now, we'll discuss in the individually later on, but just try to remember and familiarize with these terms first. Brugada syndrome, named after a doctor, and a QT syndrome, where the prolongation of this electrical complex, because remember, the heart is generating an electrical complex. So if these electrical complexes are prolonged, especially from Q to T interval, those are called QT interval prolongations. So those two syndromes can be identified by the EKG, but then there are two other conditions that can also be identified by an echocardiogram. An echocardiogram is an ultrasound test where you look at the structure of the heart inside. So one is RV dysplasia, we call it. So here's the right ventricle, and this portion of the wall, which is the free wall, remember this is the septal wall, but this is the free wall on this side, and this free wall will be replaced by not a muscular, because remember, heart is a muscle, so this is replaced by some fibrous tissue or fibro fatty tissue, and therefore it is very lax. It tends to bulge outside and can cause arrhythmia or irregular heartbeat and a person can collapse. And the second thing that can be identified by an echo easily is the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. We call it HCM. And that happens to be in the septum here, in the septum which divides the right ventricle and left ventricle. This septum is thickened, just like as shown here. It's highly thickened, so as a result, the aorta, which is sending the blood outside every beat of your heart uh, to the rest of the body, is not able to pump so well because of the obstructive pattern that develops because of this septal hypertrophy, we call it. So what have you learned out of this presentation? Well. They can be, uh, uh, the sudden cardiac death syndrome can be identified by either by an EKG or an echo. One, one group is a young athlete of African-American descent. And the second group is a middle-aged Asian 
who collapses or passes away in sleep itself. The two syndromes that are identified by EKG are Brugada syndrome and QT's prolongation, and the two syndromes identified by ECHO are RV dysplasia and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, HCM. Thank you for your attention, and uh, let's go for the details as we move forward. <laughs> Thank you.